You can make money from stocks two ways. You can either make it by capital appreciation, and this is where you buy stocks at a low price and sell it for a high price, or dividend payments. In this video, I will share the top five dividend stocks for 2022. Dividends are the payments that a company or stock pays its shareholders or investors when they make a profit. Think of it as income you get when you own a stock without having to sell it. You can receive these dividends either annually, biannually, quarterly, and monthly. Now let's begin. First on this list is going to be Sterling Investments Limited. Now with a dividend yield of 9.4% as of November 8th, this means if you had invested $5,000 in SIL, the ticker symbol for Sterling Investments Limited, you would have received approximately 472 Jamaican dollars for the year. Sterling Investments paid three dividends in the form of US dollars. Now Sterling Asset Management Limited is a licensed securities dealer regulated by the Financial Services Commission of Jamaica with assets under management in excess of 200 million US dollars and has been in operation since 2001. Now according to the Jamaica Stock App, Sterling Investments Limited, ticker symbol SIL, is currently market weight. And what does this mean? The security is expected to provide fairly similar returns compared to the market in general or at the same pace as comparable companies neither strongly positive or negative with a range of roughly minus 10 to positive 10% price change. Now when this data was gathered on December 8th, the stock price was around $2.81 with a 52 week low of $2.42 and a 52 week high of $3.65. It currently has a market cap of 1.2 billion with a PE ratio of 8.22 and a PB ratio of 0.78. Since 2018, the company the company has a steady increase of annual earnings from 53.8 million to 160 million in 2021. Now SIL's dividend payments have increased. The company has also paid dividends over the last seven years and they also have a dividend payout ratio of 10.6%, which can be interpreted as SIL's dividend payments are well covered by their earnings. Another metric that you may also want to look into is called the cash flow coverage. This is currently measured at 27.6%. But what does this mean? Well, this is the percentage of free cash flow paid to shareholders in the form of dividends. It is calculated by dividing the company's total annual dividends paid by its free cash flow. Attractive dividend paying companies will often have high cash flow payouts. If a company's dividends exceeds its free cash flow, then it's depleting its cash reserves or taking on debt, which is unsustainable in the long run. In the case of the 27.6%, SIL's dividend payments are well covered by their cash flows. Second on this list is going to be Cygnus Credit Investments Limited. With a dividend yield of 9.22% as of November 8th, Cygnus Investments Limited paid three dividends in the form of US dollars. This means that if you had invested 5,000 Jamaican dollars in Cygnus, you'd have received 461 dollars for the year. Now Cygnus Credit Investments Limited is a specialty credit investment company dedicated to providing non-traditional financing to medium-sized firms across the Caribbean region. According to the Jamaica Stock App, Cygnus is overweight. And in the stock world, this just means that the security is undervalued and is expected to outperform compared to the average market return and or return of comparable securities in the same sector or industry at least 10% price appreciation expected. The stock price is currently at $12.91 with a 52 week low of 12 cents and a 52 week high of $17.49. Cygnus Credit Investments with a ticker symbol SCIJMD has a market cap of $4.4 billion dollars. Cygnus is at a good market value based on its P.E. ratio of 12.6 times compared to its peers on the market at 17.8 times. Now Cygnus dividends have been increasing but they have a four-year track record of paying dividends so not very old. With its reasonably low payout ratio of 39.3 percent, Cygnus dividend payments are well covered by earnings. But according to Simply Wall Street, Cygnus is paying a dividend but it is not covered by their free cash flow. 
Third on this list is going to be Carreras. Carreras Limited is a Jamaican company that distributes and markets tobacco and cigarettes. Now with a dividend yield of 6.74%, Carreras has only paid three dividends this year, so that means they have one more left in the bag. This information was gathered on November 8th, so we have one more dividend to get, so it will push up their dividend yield. This means that if you have $5,000 invested in Carreras, you would receive $337 for for the year in dividends. According to the Jamaica stock app, Carreras is at market weight and this means that the security is expected to provide fairly similar returns compared to the market in general or at the same pace as comparable companies. The stock price is currently at $8.70 with a 52 week low of $7 and a 52 week high of $10.50. They also have a market cap of $42.3 billion. Their PE ratio is currently at 9.62 times and their PB ratio is currently at 19.38 times. Since 2018, the company has had a steady increase in its annual earnings, which grew from 3.4 billion to 4.1 billion in 2022. According to Simply Wall Street, Carreras have been growing their dividends and they have been paying dividends for over the last 10 years. However, when I look at the payout ratio on Simply Wall Street, it shows that Carreras has a high payout ratio of 102%. A payout ratio indicates the percentage of profits paid out to shareholders in the form of dividends. Companies with higher payout ratios are typically more attractive to investors looking for income-based returns. However, high payout ratios mean less profit is being reinvested into the business and may reduce a company's growth potential. In Carrera's case though, I don't think it's much of a problem. Since it's a main market stock that is established and in my opinion are finished with their growing pains and just focusing on sustaining. The fourth dividend payer on this list is going to be Mail Pack. Mailpack Group's limited principal activities are the provision of international and domestic courier and mail order services, as well as online shopping of a variety of food, beverages, and other household supplies. With a dividend yield of 6.13% as of November 8th, Mailpack paid three dividends in the form of Jamaican dollars. This means that if you had invested 5,000 Jamaican dollars in Mailpack, you would have received 308 Jamaican dollars for the year. According to the Jamaica Stock app or the J. SA app, Mailpack is deemed to be market weight. Meaning that whatever you're seeing the stock do right now, you can expect that because it will provide fairly similar returns. The stock price is currently at $2.08. It had a 52 week low of $2 and a 52 week high of $3.80. Mailpack has a market cap of $5 billion. Its PE ratio is currently hovering around 23 times with a PB ratio of 15 times. In 2019, the company reported an annual earnings of $86.3 million, which rose to $443 million Jamaican dollars in 2020. However, in 2021, earnings fell to $398 million. Mailpack has been paying dividends for less than 10 years, so it has yet to prove itself to be a sustainable source of dividends. However, dividends have been showing a steady increase over the last two years. When looking at Mailpack's earnings coverage, it was stated at 69% meaning dividends are covered by its earnings. And also looking at the cash flow coverage, which is around 71%, it shows that Mailpack can cover its dividends from its cash flows. Number five on this list is going to be the Trans Jamaican Highway. Trans Jamaican Highway Limited is a Jamaican company involved in the development, operation, and maintenance as a toll roadway. Whoa, <laughs> I got that. I speak Spanish of a tolled roadway known as Highway 2000 East to West. <laughs> Now with a dividend yield of 5.9% as of November 8th, Trans Jamaican Highway, ticker symbol TJH, paid one dividend in the form of Jamaican dollars. This means that if you had invested 5,000 Jamaican dollars in TJH, you would receive 295 Jamaican dollars for the year. Now according to the Jamaica stock app, TJH is currently at market weight, meaning that the security is expected to provide fairly similar returns or 
continue to be like they are right now. The stock price is currently at $1.36 with a 52 week low of $1.17 and a 52 week high of $1.91. They also have a market cap of $17.3 billion. The PE ratio is currently sitting at 27.3 times with a PB ratio of 1.64. However, in 2020, the company recorded negative annual earnings, but not to fear, they recovered with annual earnings earnings of 3.9 million in 2021. Being one of the newest dividend payers on the block, TJH still needs time to prove themselves as one of the great dividend payers. They only have about two years of paying dividends, so they have more to prove, but for now, they're still volatile. Now they have a high dividend payout ratio of 219%. While this may be awesome for somebody looking for an income generating stock, it shows that they're not using most of their earnings to reinvest back into the business. But seeing that their cash flow payout ratio is around 31%, it shows that this company has enough cash to continue paying its dividends. Now I know I have been missing from YouTube for quite a while, but I needed a break just to refresh and to plan some new content for the channel. I've also done the Learn, Grow, Invest conference, my first time speaking like to the public, like 2,000 and odd people we were speaking to, so it felt great and I'm honored that they brought me onto their platform to be a speaker, so Learn, Grow, Invest big up on yourself and to the people who attended to the subscribers to everybody who came out much appreciation i'm glad that people in jamaica started to take interest in their financial well-being and trying to better themselves in that category so that we can all become future millionaires rather sooner than later anyways new content coming more fresh entertaining youtube videos so stay tuned until next time my future millionaires happy investing